Hi, it's Suzanne from the Shops to Marketing team again, and in this video I'm going to run you through the process of listing on eBay and show you just how easy it is to use Shopster's Listing Manager to get your products up and selling in an auction on eBay. So let's start by clicking the eBay tab. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do is link your eBay account to your Shopster account. If you already have an eBay account, click on the Authorize Your eBay Account on Shopster link. If you don't, you're going to need to sign up for an eBay account and then return to this page and then click on the Authorize Shopster on your eBay account link. I'm now going to be taken to eBay where I get to add in my user ID and password. And here we go. So now you're going to want to click the I Agree button to link your Shopster and your eBay accounts together. Back in Shopster. So now what you need to do is we're going to get into the meat of this and we're actually going to list a product on eBay now. So start by clicking on the Inventory tab. Click on the Manage link. And you're now on the Manage Inventory screen. And if you've watched our previous video on searching for products in the virtual warehouse and adding those products to your personal inventory, this screen's going to look really familiar to you. In fact, you might even have an idea of where we're going next. If you haven't viewed that video, I would recommend doing so after watching this one because it's going to run you through the process of looking for products, uh, finding those products, adding them to your personal inventory, basically getting you to this step so you can then turn around and list them on eBay. Moving forward though, I want to focus on my Arizona Cardinals micro helmet and I want to go and list that on eBay. So what I'm going to do is click on my nice little eBay icon here, that E, and now I'm on the create listing page. Now depending on the type of listing you want to host within eBay, you have a bunch of different options for templates, be it a 99 cent no reserve listing, fixed price listing, high price listing. For the sake of this video, I'm going with a basic listing. Scrolling down the page, you'll notice that in your listing, all the details of your eBay account, title of your product, product category, pricing information, the listing time, that's all listed in here and you can make any changes as you see fit. Uh, you may want to change the pricing information if you've done a little bit of market research and you found you need to be more competitive with your listing price or maybe you feel you can maybe make a bit more profit off it. So you can click on the change button, make any changes, and then once you're done there, click on the update button. The other pieces I want to bring your attention to in this listing are first and foremost, the listing enhancements. Because listing enhancements do cost extra within eBay. Uh, they're definitely great because they typically make your listing stand out a bit more. But like I mentioned, eBay charges a bit extra for them. So choose carefully, basically. Now go to payment methods. eBay requires that you associate a PayPal account with your payment method or with your eBay listing. And so enter your PayPal address in. And then if you have any additional payment instructions, click off the payment instruction box, type your instructions in here, and click the update button. Scrolling down the page, you see your product description, and feel free to change that to make it more buyer friendly, maybe to make it a bit more, throw a bit of a marketing spin on there. Uh, do what you see fit there, but Whatever you do, don't delete this little piece of text here. Uh, eBay requires it if you're using a drop shipper to uh, get your products to the end customer. Once you're done making all the changes you need to make, reviewing all your details, you're going to click on the Create Listing button. And the very last step before you push your listing live is making sure you agree with all the fees that eBay is going to charge. You want to review these. Uh, you'll notice I do have the bolding fee in here because I decided I wanted to have a bold title on my listing. And you'll also notice 
that there's some red text there. And don't worry too much about that. That's just PayPal uh, keeping you informed about their own policies and details that they feel are important to share with you. Click off the uh, I understand that I am responsible for all the fees associated with listing this product on eBay and confirm your listing. Now we're back on the eBay listing page and your product is live on eBay. That was easy, wasn't it? All right, so before we sign off here, the very last thing you should probably do is click on the listing link and view your product on eBay. In eBay, you're going to want to review all the details of your product, make sure you, you know, it's all in there and correct. And then once that's said and done, you are good to go. If by some small chance it's not correct and you need to edit something, you can go into your eBay account and do that. If you need to remove your, your listing, you can click on the remove button. But remember, by clicking on the remove button here, it only removes it from Shopster. If you actually need to end a listing, you do need to go into your eBay account and do that. You've listed a product on eBay, and now you're ready to list a bunch more and start selling and making mad profits. Thanks.